here, but uh, I've, I've brought this up in a couple of videos, but here we're gonna get to actually see exactly uh, how the panel installs to the steel line. Uh, as I've mentioned before, this is the steel line, the edge of the girt from the outside base of the framing system. And when we're putting on the first wall panel, we wanna line up the middle of the lap rib with the steel line. And they've done a pretty good job on this end wall. And that'll keep your panel modulation on down to the end of the building. Of course, at the other end of the building, you have your full lap, and that's probably gonna have to be trimmed off to install the corner trim properly. So we'll let these guys install their first panel on this wall. Seth is up there in the lift. This is, uh, this of course is OSHA certified. Putting panels on is generally a three man operation. Two guys on the outside of the building at the bottom of the panel. And one guy on the top. So it's nice to work in the shade if you can get it done that way. So these guys are going to keep a quarter inch gap with a shim or uh, just with the measurement from the bottom of the drip edge, or I'm sorry, the bottom of the base trim. Keep a quarter inch gap there if they can. And then they want to make sure that the first panel is going on perfectly plumb. And then you can install a few panels, but you're going to want to check and make sure that you're staying as you move on down the as you move on down the wall of the building. Back just a hair. Seth's up there checking his steel line. Ryan is checking his. And the third guy is ready to place the first faster. They're taking their sweet time, but they're trying to make sure that it's perfect. There's no mastic on the high rib at the laps. When you're doing wall panels, water getting in there really isn't an issue. And it pumps out or it bumps out that high rib or the lap rib I should say. And it really doesn't look good. 